Hello everyone, this is Noble John. Welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved Single Player. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. We tamed uh, two Pelagor Pel <laughs> Pelagornesses <laughs> last episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. This episode, we're actually going to be doing a lot that we, um, a lot to protect our base because it's starting to get really annoying to have so many raptors and dilophosauruses wandering in while I'm away and attacking all my dinosaurs and mixing everything up when I get back. So right now we're in the process of building a large stone wall around our base. <laughs> and the stone wall is because the lesser dinosaurs can't break it. I think they have to have um, pretty substantial dinosaurs in order to do any damage to it. And we are fortunate to be in an area, um, I don't like the look of that, plus one means there's another one in the area. Yeah, go running off, thank you buddy. But yeah, they have to be pretty substantial, I know a Giganotosaurus could take out our wall pretty quickly, but I don't think, um, I don't remember if something like a Bronto can damage it, I bet a T-Rex could. But yeah, we're just going to be gathering a whole lot of stone in order to build that out. This is why I brought these two with me. Because between the two of them... Um, let me let me drop off all this stuff real quick. We can drop off all the stone here on Dippy. And then bring our beaver over. Oh, my beaver just doesn't even have a name. That's so bad. <laughs> Stick them right side by side like this, and then I can grab... As much of this as I can carry. Well, I'm just going to grab four for now. And then a bunch of... Oh, what do you need? Let's give you some melee damage. Grab a bunch of wood and a bunch of thatch. Probably all the thatch, why not? And... Got a little bit more stone. Okay, that's as much as I can carry. And then I can go into my inventory. To the stone fence foundation. You can see it needs... 15 stone, 10 wood, 10 thatch, which is not that that big, and I can craft a lot of them at once while I'm away from my base, because these two will really help me gather a lot of this and carry a lot with me. So I'm going to just be crafting this up. I'm sorry, this is going to take a while, so I'm not going to make you watch. <laughs> but I'm going to craft up all these stone foundations and then show you what we're building around the base. From a lot of experience, I can tell you, if you're doing a large-scale project like this, you should have a lot of dinos nearby to help you out. <laughs> I have my brontosaurus here to clear the way of all these berry bushes so I can actually see what I'm doing down there. Jump down. Oh, I just barely got hurt. And so I can see now where this trail is supposed to go. And this is kind of a tricky thing to do. These things actually do have a snap point right there. Um, that's really hard to see sometimes and Sometimes it doesn't like to go perfectly straight right now It's being kind to me because it's going uphill and still doing it But you can see sometimes it snaps in direct in different directions Let's see if it'll do this for me a second where it doesn't actually snap the way I'm looking Whoops Well, I'm really getting fortunate right here Okay, go downhill now do you do it downhill? You're still being kind. Up, oh, up, oh, I saw it. Up, oh, there it was. It helps too if you go like slightly off axis so you can tell if it's pointing, like right now when I'm pointing it, you can see it's just like straight um, parallel to my vision. So I can see down the entire length of it. But if I do it and it snaps, you can see now it's off axis. So that's a really handy way to tell Actually, let me check for a second and see how far in do I want to go. Hmm. Whoops. So where I ended the curve on this side was way beyond the edge of my base. Okay, let's try it further out this time. So this is the edge. One, two, three. Okay, that's not way beyond. Let's try it at about that distance from our base over on this end. Okay, and where's the edge? This is the edge? Yeah, pretty much. So let's just do three more out and then start to curve it. Let's see if we can get it to snap now. 
in this direction. Hmm. There's a couple different tricks you can try if it doesn't. Ah, oh, it's just snapping straight right now. I don't want it to go straight. So one that I found fairly effective is to do something like this, where I know it's at the same level, where the other ones were up above. So this one's at the same level that I want, and I can attach it to that one. And then break this one. And that should hopefully still put them in a position where they're lined up exactly, edge to edge. Of course they're going to be at different heights, but I'm not too concerned about that. What mostly concerns me right now is getting them lined up so they're snapped, so that they do, don't have any seams in between them. Give you guys an update here too. Our, our plants are now in a much better state. These ones, these fruitlings, are actually producing vegetables for us. And seeds. <laughs> and these growthlings are just about to go into fruit fruitling state so we nearly have every one of these ready to go to be fantastic because that means we can start making kibble okay we're gonna go inside and see if we can make some stone uh what are they called behemoth gates all these dodo eggs i don't know why we're still gathering them but we'd still do um to make a behemoth gate i think it's inside of the smithy Structures, stone. Yeah, we need 450 stone and a 450 wood. I think we have... Mm, we might have the wood. Oh, we do. We have a... Why don't you guys move? I had these guys come over to where I was. While I was making narcotics. So I can do that little pet them trick. And get, get a buff. <laughs> to see if it helped me to get more XP. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's my Ankylo. <laughs> Sticking its head through the wall. And I think it gave me some. I can't even tell, really. Um, but you can see we now have quite a few narcotics. We're up to 34 slots. This is the only one that's not max. So we have a lot of narcotics now. Which is also good. It means that if I need to make more uh, tranquilizer darts, which are three narcotics apiece, that I'm not hurting. I can get through that pretty quick. So yeah, beh Behemoth Gate. Let me grab... Uh, where are you, other beaver? You're right there, and you have plenty of wood, I should imagine. You do? This is slightly more annoying than I thought. I do have plenty of stone, but right now I'm actually at my limit. I can't put any more in here. Whoops. Uh, it's all full up. And currently, I can only build one. <laughs> because I need more thatch. Okay, perfect. Craft two more, because I want to have three total. And then these things, looks like I'm going to need more stone to do them. Okay, here are the gates. Twelve pounds. There are four each? <laughs> oh, crap. No, this is a behemoth. What? Let's try snapping one right over there. You see how enormous this thing is? Four pounds? <laughs> Each? <laughs> okay, don't snap in a circle like that. I want you to snap to the foundation. I want you to snap straight. Come on, man. You can do it. <laughs> Let me K out so you can see how big this thing is. Oh, yeah. There's water beneath me. If I had my, built my base over here, I could have put uh, irrigation pipe directly down in there. Now, how? Oh, that snapped. That looks snapped to the fence. Yes, that is definitely snapped in the right place. Is it the right direction, though? Is it? <laughs> Hard to tell. What does it look like in the back? Oh, these things are pretty obvious. I might actually try destroying those. Opening outward from that side. When I open it from this side, it goes inward. Okay. I 
And I'm kind of nervous right now. But if I break these, does it break that? That one doesn't. I don't know if I want to break the ones that are like directly. Uh, where is it? There we are. Directly underneath it. Um, I don't know if it's going to snap to this one or to that one. I would much rather snap the ones that are exposed. This one does not look exposed, but I don't really want to risk it either. Let's just break this one too. Let's say that's good. And <laughs> just leave the ones that are right on the edge there. <laughs> Ronto, you're in the way. I can't see a thing while you're there. Get out of my office. Hey. Oh yeah. It's definitely starting to come together now with that big fence in the background. <laughs> um... Excellent. Uh-huh. Slight gap. Can I get under this? I sort of can. If I put if I were to put a wall here, then it would seal that up. Get that out of the way for a second so I can break these. Oh yeah. I definitely need more stone. <laughs> I'm gonna gather. Crap ton of stone before this project's done, and all of it's gonna be invested in crafting. Can you go to the door? Turn to the door. And this is kind of ridiculous, but if you get your dino right up on the door, you can push E and open it. <laughs> yep. This will definitely do. Alright, I'll place the last one, and then we will go on and build some more walls. Okay, if you guys are also building a giant stone wall like this, one thing to keep in mind is, again, the direction. If you place it down and it doesn't quite look right, you can hit E and it'll reverse the direction. This direction actually has the, uh, I guess that wooden spine on the opposite side. So you kind of want to make it so they all are on the inside. Oops. <laughs> See, I already messed that one up because I wasn't paying too much attention. The benefit, though, is that if you have one of them in the right direction, the next one's automatically going to go up on top of it in the right direction as well, which is hugely beneficial if you're doing a massive project on this scale. Final stretch. That's a lot steeper. Almost there. Three more. One, two, three, four. Is that it? I think that's it. <laughs> Let me stick these walls away real quick. Grab my pteranodon and take a look at this. And let's go up. Oh yeah. Looks like we might have to extend that wall out a bit. I don't know if any any dinosaurs will be able to come around the edge of the wall. Because I don't know if any of them really approach the water that closely. But yeah, this is our base right now. <laughs> Plenty of room. I can spread these guys out, probably move them closer to the water. Start putting some extra troughs in here so I can gather some more dinosaurs. What do you need? You probably need more weight. <laughs> this is pretty excellent. So I gathered all this stuff up for a reason. I need... All of these pouches, I don't know if I have any other ones. If I did, they'd probably be right in there. And I need to place this... What is it called? Cooking pot somewhere. I think the best place to put it is actually right here on the edge. For now. We may move it later. We need to get some wood for that. Do you have any wood on you? Of course you don't. 
We put it all on your mate. <laughs> okay. Give me... Give me 100 of your finest wood. Thank you, sir. Boop. So there's a couple different ways to fill these up. One way, let me show you real quick, is in this thing here. Just stick it in and it fills it. And when it does that, it actually takes 100 away from these. I now have 12 of them. I don't know if I showed you these bottom two in the front, but I did put those in as well. So I now have, yeah, 12 all the way up. So that's not bad, because 12 times 200 is a lot of water. Um, the other way to do it is if you're standing in the water or standing in the rain, you can simply select it and click use item and it fills it up. Now these don't have to be packed full in order for this to work. I know they need medjo berries and I don't remember how many they need. So let's just grab a stack of those. Hey, get out of the way. Thank you. Whoops, we don't want to put it in the water, we want to put it in the cooking pot. Um, we need... I want to make Argentivus kibble. And that will require um, stego eggs and citronol and prime meat jerky. Alright, let's stick that in there and that in there and that in there. And I can't remember if we need anything else. Oh yeah, citronol. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh yeah, okay, finally got some. <laughs> so apparently it only takes two medjo berries to do it. I think three fiber, yeah. And then the rest is quantities of one, so it grabbed one of each of these. Uh, and it grabbed one of these as well. So if I'm gonna make 10 of that, I'm gonna have to sit here and refill these as we go. Well, that's all cooking in the other room. I actually wanna check and see doesn't look like okay it looks like I do my armor in here can I do this oh it doesn't take very much at all look at how much look at how much metal I've gotten here sitting at 635 no it's not 600 wow my math is off at 1235 let's just craft up one of one of these and one of these we need some fiber Eh, let's just grab a bunch of fiber while we're at it. We're gonna have to send our, uh... Gigantopithecus out to grab some more. So which ones have we done so far? Just the top two? Yep. Okay, so let's do that and that. Oh, yeah. It's good because my hide armor was already going bad. Excellent. Okay, let me get to normal gamma levels. And let me get outside. How far along are you? Oh, you need to get, you need more of this. Uh, three more, because you've already got that much. Boop, boop, boop. And that'll cook up the rest of that. Yep, seven more, yeah, seven kibble, three more things to go. All right, let's stick in the, right in here. Pop in my inventory. <laughs> oh yeah. Can't even see like the side of my head through this thing anymore. It's actually a decent size. Hmm, a flyer came in. Female? A female flyer. And I don't have any of my guns. <laughs> stick a wig. I got it. Don't don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, good. It fell just before the water. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some meat real quick and some narcotics and that'll probably be good enough for it. As you can see the kibble has a spoilage timer of three days when it's on my inventory. Oops, and when it's in a preserving bin, it goes up to 30 days. <laughs> So we're not particularly worried about this kibble. This random turtle just chilling here. Must have been here a long time. Didn't even notice it. But I think we're going to tame it out because... Uh, excuse me, Dippy. Turtle eggs are used for... 
Brontos. And it would be awesome to have a high level Bronto. <laughs> so we're gonna do this too. Clean this guy up. Be right back. You guys remember when I said I couldn't tell if the uh, Lystras doing their little pet thing gave me a significant boost on XP? I'm crafting some more narcotics right now. Looks like it's going up eight per narcotic. <laughs> So at 39 right now, it'll do four more real quick. Yeah, it's 71, so it's actually going up 42. <laughs> so yeah, I might actually have a chance at making it to 75. <laughs> oh yeah, we are so close we can taste it. One more. <laughs> Level 75, I think, gives us scuba gear. Which I don't know if we have enough uh, Engram points to use anyway. I just wanted to see it. Yep, scuba gear, scuba, 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 scuba. 35. What is this? Metal water reservoir. <laughs> we have not done that yet. Scuba mask, scuba leggings, scuba flippers. That'll let us swim fast. I think this just makes us... Yeah, hyper hyperthermal insulation, so we can go underwater, and not freeze, and this just helps you see better. This is what actually lets you breathe underwater, but we do not have nearly enough engram points for all of that. What is that? 45, 80, 80 for everything except the scuba tank. What does it take to do the metal water reservoir? Metal water, 20. Hmm. We might do this. In the next episode because this thing actually contains more water than the stone ones that we have outside already and those ones those ones already hold 200 i don't remember i don't remember if it was like 300 as you can see i'm already using up quite a few of these zero 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 on the first level that one's at 43. did i use up any of the others yeah the top one that one <laughs> yeah so making all that kibble and then refilling my water jar here has brought me down to this last layer of water. <laughs> so if you ever think, that's overkill there, this is not overkill. This is overkill. <laughs> I do not need nearly this many plants. One of these would give me sufficient. You can see I've already got 15 here. <laughs> I needed how much for that kibble? That's right, one per. So having all of these is way too much for single player. But it looks cool. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Uh, probably because they went around. But there is a parasaur in our base. <laughs> I don't know how you got in here, but I don't need you. Bubble Yums would not be pleased with me. <laughs> Looks like they're finding their way into my base. Female. Yeah, maybe I'll tame it. The other one is now tamed out and standing backward over yonder. <laughs> the, uh... Liar. I can't remember what it's called. Dimorphodon? It's chilling upstairs with the other two. I don't remember if I showed you guys the coloring on this. Look at this thing. Oh, laid an egg. Um, backspace. There we go. Isn't that cool? With purple, the brown, and green up front. I don't know how well those colors go together, but I really like the appearance. Here, have some more meat for no reason. I don't need it. So you do. Just holding all those stem berries because I just emptied out the Bronto, and I wanted to put them all over here so I could use them on the Fiomias, because I need more fertilizer. This thing is empty. All 12 of them are empty. But I'll do that next time. I don't actually know how long this episode is gone because it took a long time to build that wall. I think it, I ended up recording for four hours. <laughs> and I think that that's a full episode worth of footage in there because we did the wall we did the, um, we tamed a couple of dinosaurs. We built ourselves this flak armor, lovely flak armor. 
Um, we built, or well, we did some kibble. Die, diplo. Mm, there we go. Dodo, I can't believe you. Well, first off, you gotta go over there, right? No, right there. Thank you. I want these in alphabetical order. Raptor, trike. Five raptor eggs. We need much, much more. So, in the next episode, we're probably gonna go and use our kibble to go out and find an Argentivus. Because I don't think I want to cram it into the end of the episode, and it's the next thing I want to do. We're probably going to go up to um, the central island, which I guess is not straight north. It's more in that direction. Uh, we talked about before, it's 50 to 70 latitude and 30 to 60 longitude. But yeah, right down the middle there, there is a mountain. It's probably that one that you can see in the middle there. That before they put in the redwood forest was the home to plenty of Argentivises, and it was really close to us. So I'm going to try going there. And see if I can find myself an Argentivus. Hopefully really high level. Because I have the kibble now. I can tame a perfect one. If I can get... Let me, let me drink. If I could find myself a 120, that would be perfect. Because I already have everything I need to tame it out. Plenty of narcotics. And plenty of kibble for it. Especially at six times taming. Oh, let's pick up these eggs while we can. <laughs> Use our little crosshair. I saw a comment recently. There's a uh, um, a free weekend that just went on for Ark, and some people were reviewing it. And it's really quite sad because the reviews that I read were kind of hurtful. I mean, a lot of a lot of negative to say about the game because you know it is in um, early access, so it's still a beta game. But the comments really weren't about the beta status; they were about the grindiness of it and. Honestly, if you're playing with a lot of people, it's not that bad. And if you're playing by yourself, I've already showed you how to get, like, all the extra bonuses, faster faster uh, gathering rates and faster XP rates and all kinds of stuff like that. So I really highly recommend that you play on those settings if you're playing by yourself like I am. And you can see it's still a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing this. Look at this. This is all the uh, rotten meat we have left. <laughs> I had to go out and gather some more berries as well because we were running out. This trough was almost empty. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this game. I mean, the episodes, I really do hope you enjoy them as well. But I love this game. That's the only reason why I'm doing episodes. <laughs> trying to encourage everyone else to pick up a copy of it and play it and, you know, enjoy it with me. So I hope that you do. I hope that you aren't going to say that it's... It's too grindy or it's it's too slow to level up or it's easy to die. Just pick a safer place and, and live there. If you're going to be playing online with a lot of other people, though, you should probably have friends because it is a lot harder to play on the servers if you don't know what you're doing. People people do know what they're doing on there, and it way, they will make the learning curve incredibly steep for new people. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoy, enjoy ARK, and if you do, let me know. Um, if any of you have picked up a copy of it and played it on the free weekend, let me know that too and see what you thought of it. Um, let's make myself some more nar nar not narcotic uh, tranquilizer tarts. Yeah, three levels of narcotics there. Look at this. See how many of these things I have now? 40. <laughs> well, not now. <laughs> 37. <laughs> I have almost filled that thing completely with narcotics, and I'm playing by myself. So, yeah. <laughs> Take that, anyone who does, who thinks that uh, you can't do it. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Um, and if you really enjoy the series, be sure to subscribe for more ARC. Hold on, let me get into this, into the bush. There. I'm, I'm camouflage. You can't even see me. <laughs> There's no player in that bush. How not to be seen. <laughs> I hope somebody knows that reference. <laughs> but yeah, take care, guys, and we'll see you. Um, hold on. Oh, yeah, okay. Zoom in. Turn around. Need to wave. No, look up, dude. Look up. Buck up. There you go. See you in the next episode, guys. Bye-bye. Why in the world? Oh, come on. How does it forget that? Bye! <laughs>